Mickey. Uh, well, how do you like being the size of a Meadowville? Wild, huh? I'm Max Meadowville. Maxi M to me, mates. I've been staying here at Grandad's house for the school holidays. I've had a wicked time. I've been here a whole week and I've only smashed three things. A vase, a teapot and a 24-piece dinner service. Maxwell! Uh-oh. I thought I told you to stop yakking and get packing. Sorry, Grandad. Mortimer Meadowville, welcome to my humble abode. My family have been living in these wildflower meadows for centuries. Of course, they used to be much bigger in those days. The meadows, not the family. Ha! <laughs> Except Great Aunt Mona. Poor old thing, fell foul of an owl. My cousin Milton, Marquis of Meadowville. He ended his days as a badger's breakfast. Oh, yes, it may look like a beautiful wildflower meadow up top, but it's a jungle out there. And that's why young matey here needs a wily old campaigner like myself to get him home safely. Oh, Conkers, go and find my cap. No! Grandad, hang on! Step on it, lad, step on it! Stop! Wait! Watch out for the... <laughs> Skateboard. Oh, it's me dicky back. Ah, eek! No worries, nothing broken. Oh, you silly young meadow foal. Help me up, I can't move. Oh, ah, oh, get me over to my chair. Ah. Not so fast, not so fast! There you go, sorted. Oh, your mother's going to have to come here tomorrow and collect you herself. Oh, Grandad, I can go home on my own. I'm eight years old. I'm not a baby. 63782, Melanie Meadowville speaking. Oh, Melanie, my dear. Be a good gal and put your mother on, won't you? I'm very sorry. To whom am I speaking? What? Oh, Melanie, it's me, your grandfather. Oh, hi, Grandad. Has Max been naughty? Did he put your tail in the toaster again? <laughs> Uh, thank you, Mel. I'll take that. Hello? Oh, Miranda, thank goodness. Bit of a hitch. I've gone and pranged the old back. Can't move a belly muscle. Listen, don't you go fretting. I'll come and get Max in the morning. I can cross the meadow with both eyes shut and one paw tied behind my back. Piece of poppy seed. Tell Mum not to bother. I'll be fine. Stop, Maxwell. Come back here. There, there are things out there, wild and terrible things. You'll make a tasty little tidbit for half the creatures in the meadow. Hey, it's cool. Nobody messes with Maxi M. No, wait, no! Reckless young rodent. He has no idea. And no one to help him through the wilds. Hang fire, you're all here. You can go after Max. Make sure he's safe. Excellent, stout fellows. I know you won't let me down, but I have to warn you, it'll be no picnic out there. Oh, no. Danger will be lurking round every corner. So follow the footprints, stick to the long grass, and learn as much as you can about meadow life from answering the questions. And if you escape, well done. Now, Miranda, keep your fur on. There's been an itsy-witsy little change of plan.